Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can work with a binomial distribution, both the probability mass function and the cumulative distribution function using SPSS. I'm using SPSS uh, version 28 and uh, the first thing I do is I go to the variable view, I create a temporary variable or uh, doesn't really matter how long you want it to be there, uh, called k, and then I remove the number of decimals. I'm not going to give it a label, just make sure it's numeric. And let's say I wanted to know the probability of having four or less successes. So I'm going to see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's it. I need to actually, I did a few things earlier on, so remove that one. So here's 0 to 4. Uh, I could have only done 4 if I actually wanted to know this, but just to show also the probability mass function, uh, I'd like to see the other ones as well. Then I'll go for transform and compute a variable. This pops up a compute variable window, and I can give this new variable a name. Let's call this the probability PMF, and let's put a B in front of it for binomial. Now in here, in the function group, you should be able to actually find PDF and non-central PDF. And there is the PDF binomial. So this returns the probability that the number of successes in n trials with probability of success P in each will be equal to a specific quantity. If I double click on it, it already fills it out in my numeric expression. And the first one is that quantity. So the quantity in my case is k, so I'm going to replace the first question mark with a k. There is a comma and then the second question mark is the n, the number of trials. Let's say I've been uh, flipping a coin 10 times and the last one is the probability of success on each trial. So let's say my probability of success was only 0 0.2, so it's an unfair coin if you will. So it's not 50-50, it's 0 0.2. If I now click on OK, it should give me in here, in the data view, nicely the binomial probability mass function, so basically how likely it is of each of these to occur. If I click on OK, that should give me those results there. Uh, there are more decimals, if you click on one you can actually see that there are more, so I could even say here, well, I want to see up to four decimals, and now it nicely has those. If I wanted to know how um, what the probability was for 4 or less, I simply need to sum these up, which I can do in different ways. One of them is to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics and Frequencies. There are other ways of doing this, by the way. I move my BPMF there, and under Statistics, there's the option for Sum under Central Tendency. I'm not really sure if Sum is a Central Tendency, but OK. Continue. Uh, I don't need to see the frequency table and just click on OK. And in my output, let me show you, there it is. Um, it now shows the sum, which is 0 0.9672. I could have done this in one go, uh, as mentioned earlier, because there are also the cumulative functions. So I could have done transform, compute variable, and then instead of doing the PDF, I can do the cumulative density function. So let's rename this to binomial CDF. Uh, and I don't need this function, so let's remove that. And in here, in the function group, look for CDF. And there is CDF binomial. Uh, it actually takes the same input parameters, the quantity. So in my case, that's K. So the first question mark gets replaced for me by K. Then n, the number of trials, which I set to 10. And last but not least, the uh, probability of success on each trial, which I set to 0 0.2. And now if I click on OK, I should get a new variable. Uh, output can go. And this has the cumulative binomial distribution probabilities. Um, as you can see, the final result, let's also change this to four decimals. And you can see it's 0 0.9672, and that was exactly the same as we earlier saw as the sum in our output. By the way, if you double click on the output and then click on the cell, then you actually get more decimal places in here as well. 
All right, and that's how you can work a little bit with the binomial distribution in SPSS. If you were trying to find something about a binomial test, I've separate videos on those on how to do that with SPSS, but this was just about the distribution itself. Hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.